Good afternoon. Welcome to Facebook Live Breakthrough. How to have a breakthrough Christmas. Kathy Beatty here with Divorce Support Anonymous, wanting to be with you through the month of December. Here we find ourselves on day 21. So 10 days left of this year, 10 days left of 2020. So we can just hold on. Um, we will get to 2021. So today, first of all, I want to know how you're doing. How are you doing in identifying where you need that breakthrough? Whether that's financial, physical, emotional, spiritual, um, where where is it that you need that breakthrough? At this point, I hope you have identified that. And quite frankly, if that's where you succeeded this month, is simply identifying the place, the specific place in which you need a breakthrough, that's an accomplishment. Because a lot of people will struggle there decades trying to figure out where they need a breakthrough and they never do. So to find, to know, to identify is the first step in healing and having that breakthrough. So how are you? How are you doing right now? As this Christmas season ramps up and we get closer to the day, I hope and pray that you have found a peace, a contentment, throughout this season, even with all of the chaos. Uh, there are so many church services uh, right now telling the story, the story of hope. And part of that story are stars. And I wanted to focus on stars today because that is part of the Christmas story, but also Today, on December 21st, is a very special day that hopefully the clouds will be cleared and we will be able to experience. Because what is happening tonight is Jupiter and Saturn will align in the sky tonight, December 21st, in an event astronomers call the Great, the great Conjunction, also referred to as the Christmas Star, marking the planet's closest encounter in nearly 400 years. So when Saturn and Jupiter converge tonight, the two planets will appear as a bright point of light that will be visible in the night sky. The two planets have slowly been moving closer to each other over the past few weeks. A conjunction occurs when planets appear incredibly close to one another in the sky because they line up with the Earth in their respective orbits. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, first time since in 400 years that this has happened. So once in a lifetime opportunity tonight for you to go outside, to look up in the sky and see Jupiter and Saturn align or get so close that they look like a bright star. What, what a gift that we have. Um, I guess every day is a once in a lifetime experience, right? Uh, but tonight to be able to see that and hopefully again, the sky will be clear and we can see it. Uh, I will be snuggled up in warm clothes and I will be out there looking for that, those planets aligning what really will be looking like a star. So I want to talk about the star in the Christmas story. Uh, one that you may be very familiar with, but the point of this story is what they followed. So as you know, after the birth of Christ, uh, the wise men saw a star and they followed this star. And I'm going to read a little bit. Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and we've come to worship him. So these wise men, and wise being the key word because that's what we're seeking for right now, wisdom. Wisdom through life. Wisdom through the month of December. Wisdom through Christmas. So the rest of the story goes, Herod, who's the bad guy in the story, um, summoned all the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. The bad guy wanted to know about the star. 
And he sent the wise men to Jerusalem, or I'm sorry, to Bethlehem, saying, go and search. Go search for this child. And when you found him, come tell me. And I, I want to go and worship him too. And so the wise men, not knowing any different, I'm not sure how wise they were at this point, but they didn't have that spiritual discernment to understand. Uh, and so after listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the stable, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him and they offered him treasures. And then they ended up not going back to Herod and the bad guy um, because they had been warned in a dream to go a different way because Herod was after to kill this child, which speaks to back in that day until today, there are evil forces that want not for you to have hope, not for you to have direction or wisdom or discernment or the gift in which God longs to give you that wants to uh, distract your life, to take you off course, to make sure that you are not following that which is going to give you life. So make no mistake about it. You are in a spiritual battle. We all are. So the question is, what are you following? What are you following this Christmas? Are you following your pain? Are you following your lust? Are you following uh, after your, your needs? Are you following false teachings? What are, you, what are you following? Or are you following, like the wise men, the star which represented hope, a future, goodness, and God? That's what they were following. That's what they were after. So much so that when they got there and they arrived, they gave treasures. They gave out of their being, out of their heart, out of their wealth. So the question is, maybe, just maybe, you're following the wrong thing. Maybe, just maybe, when you start following the right thing, the thing that gives you hope and peace and life, that you follow the right way, then, then you will have the breakthrough. Then you will have the peace that you long for. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. God has always wanted to walk alongside of you. Always. Even now, even in the thick of it, even if you're living a life that you know is not the best, not the best in decisions, not the best in lifestyle, God has always longed and is pursuing you to give you that hope, for you to follow him, to find the hope, to find the peace, to find all that you are searching for in your life and in Christmas. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. What are you following? And how is that working for you? How is that working for you? What a wonderful time to be able to examine our own hearts and say, what am I following? And is it worth being followed? <laughs>